An apple, but it's not even an apple tree. Did you know the true same situation Isaac Newton get the idea of gravity? He realized that something was pulling this apple down to earth. He called that force gravity. We see from this model the revolution of the moon around the earth. During Isaac's time, people already knew that the moon orbits around the earth and the earth around the sun. Newton theorized that the force that pulls pulling object to the ground is the same force that keeps the moon moving around the earth. The motion of the moon around the earth can be represented using this rope attached to the two balls. According to Isaac Newton, there must be some connection between Earth and Moon. For hundreds of years, scientists looked for that connection but couldn't find it until Albert Einstein came and changed the way people view gravity. The way we see things is like this. What we do not see is that there is an extra dimension that we cannot see if we look up in the space. According to his theory of general relativity, gravity is actually a natural consequence of mass influence on space. Mass bends space around it, and it also determines how objects move around massive objects like the moon around the earth and the earth around the sun. The more the mass, the more it bends the space. Let's take a look at this marble and let's assume that this is the moon. The moon does not fall on earth because it orbits around it. But why does it orbit? This is space. This is the moon moving through space. We can see that it followed the straight path. Now, let us take a planet and put it into space over there. We can see that Earth bent the space around it. Let us put the moon back to space. As we can see, the moon is no more moving in a straight line. It is now moving around the Earth. How fast objects move through space due to gravity and how much space is curved at any points depends on two things. First, how much mass the central object has. Second, the distance from the center of that massive object. Let us take a look at the movement of these two marbles around the central object. We can see that the marble closer to the central object moves faster. This is because the space is curved more when nearer to the central object. At this moment, we understand why other planets far from the sun move slower. Let's assume that this is the sun, and this is the moon, and the earth. We can see that the moon, while moving around the sun, also orbit around earth. This is because earth also bends space, causing the moon to orbit around it. Amazing, right? Now we understand the gravity and how it works. And next time, if something falls for you, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. make sure it's not a jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs>